Hello, it's Monday. It's been another week of health education and another chance to learn from our mistakes. Sometimes in teaching, you have some of those units or some of those lessons or activities that stick around for a really long time. Yeah, you're always tweaking things, but some of the assignments and some activities, they're gonna stick around almost like benchmarks because they're just that good. One of my favorite things that I do in eighth grade is try and wrap up a health throughout history, self-management type of unit as we look at mental health in conjunction with taking care of your body for years to come, something known as health literacy. In kind of this fun culminating event, I do what's called my letters to the future assignment which a lot of other teachers do it's almost kind of like a, a personal time capsule where you allow the students to write a letter to themselves and you keep it for a certain period of time to be delivered at a later date well my eighth graders write to themselves and include a lot of different things on on coping strategies and things that are going on in their life right now and maybe even some questions for their future selves and I keep those until their graduating year of high school. Anyway, I bring this up because some of those assignments that you've been doing for a while as a teacher become old habit, and you might just assume that students know what it is you're talking about, even though it's brand new to them. So this quarter was one of those instances where I made a mistake in assuming that the assignment was understood and I needed more clarification points. That became clear to me as I had a class ask a whole bunch of questions that I thought I had covered, but obviously hadn't. Moral of the story, I suppose, is never be afraid to restate something or any type of directions more than once. I have a full blog post on my website about the Letters to the Future assignment. I'll link that in the YouTube description. Be sure to check that out right after watching. All right, that's it for this week. More next Monday, more right from the health ed classroom, and more mistakes, I'm sure. That's my teaching mistake in a minute. Thanks for tuning in.